day isn't held by a title. Yes, yes, yes. Happy days. We finally got content. Unfortunately, I couldn't make the video, what was it, yesterday when this came out because I was just busy with some stuff. So, hopefully you guys understand that. But, I was able to just do it, you know, today and stuff that came out today. And obviously, you can tell we got Jane Foster Thor, but yes. So today we got our April development updates, which I am so happy. I'm sorry for the video, guys. I wanted to do Doctor Strange today, but obviously I feel like content, we need more content like this. So I pushed that back for Friday. But without further ado, please leave a like, subscribe, all that stuff. We're now four away from 180, so please consider hitting that subscribe button and that like button. Now, let's dive right into this beautiful, beautiful update little from the development team. So, we're just going to go down like we usually do, you know how I always do that, so we're going to be talking about how, yeah, basically this is it, I don't know, I'm like speechless when I saw this, I was like just on my phone doing stuff, you know, homework, whatever, all that crap from school and stuff, or college, and I see this on my phone, I'm like, what the heck is that, is that Jane Foster? I was like, oh my god, so, obviously, I'm happy and stoked for this, especially me, because I'm on Xbox, I haven't had a new character since Black Panther, because, you know, Sony, like the mil Milk Spidey, they made it console exclusive. But besides that, let's dive into this little development thing. So it basically now says that patch 2.3 is behind us. We'd like to update you what's coming on near future for the game. This also includes great improvements to the event system, as well as the next playable hero, Jane Foster, the Mighty Thor. I think that's actually what they're going to be referring her as. And then, as you can see, there's the little picture with events, like usual, um... Even little, her, uh, little icon, which obviously, like I said, there was the icon, which every character has their little thing. Um, and then you can actually, I, I don't know if I can, I can't really zoom in. I will wish, I'll wish I can kind of just zoom in a little bit. But if you look close, you can kind of get an idea of what she's going to look like, at least her iconic suit. But I think it looks very cool. I know a lot of people are like, whoa, but she has Mjolnir. But Thor has Mjolnir. What's going on? Obviously, I feel like that could be, um, you know, in line with the whole Tachyon anomaly. Because, obviously, even in this picture, you remember when there was multiple with the same heroes? Technically, you had four Mjolnirs then. Like, why is that a problem that she has Mjolnir? Like, it could be a whole timeline different thing. You know what I'm saying? But, as we're going down, we're going to be talking about 2.4. Which, I did a little bit of reading, which I actually like. I believe before 2.3, they said 2.4 would be focused more on events. So obviously, this was nothing new. As you can see, this says our next update for 2.4 is currently targeted at May release. So obviously, next month, even though it's like the end of April, so what, like another week or two? I'm hoping the first week or two of May, I want to say. I, I really want to say that. So. As we mentioned in our last development update, 2.4 will be continue to focus on system improvements with an emphasis on the in-game events, which is good. I like how they are focusing on probably just doing system improvements as well, to be honest, because um, that honestly just makes it feel a lot better and stuff. Um, so basically, events like Cosmic Threat, Talking Anatomy, Corrupt the Vibranian, helped build the backbone to the Avengers first year, which it really did, um, especially that Vibranium event, which is happening now. I love that event. Best way to level up your characters to earn power, level up your characters to like the new max. Best event, to be honest. And going down. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still so hyped about this, guys. Well, let me know in the comments down below if you guys are hyped for Jane Foster or just content in general. So, allowing us to add variety to the Avengers Initiative and giving new and different goals a chase with your squad mates as they entered into a rational calendar this year, we want to make sure they stay fresh and compelling for replays. So, an update 2.4 will be reworking the systems behind those events with the goal of making them more rewarding. Combined with improved game loop introduced in 2.3, we, we think these rewards will make a meaningful change in the pace of veteran players and a great way to gear up for newer players. So, these are the number of components going into the work, like they said. To make each event more unique, worth playing, we're improving and diversing rewards across events, which each event now rewarding gear from different sets. This is nice. We want, we need more ways to kind of level up power level, because I've been trying to do the raid lately. I mean, my Iron Man's almost to 175, and like, what, two power levels away? I think this week I can finally, finally get my first character 175. So... Adding unique rewards to a wider variety of event missions, nice. Adding higher power level rewards to meta meta objectives to create another path to gear up beyond the soft cap drops for non-raid omega level threat content. 
These will grant rewards, entirety, entire eligible lot rosters. My guy can barely talk. <laughs> Not just a single hero. I know they did that a few times where it was like a single hero, hero which was sucked. We wanted more, you know, entire roster things, allowing you to gear up your squad while playing with your favorite hero, which is really nice to be honest. Overall, the goal is to make events more compelling and to reward mission and objective play. We will reveal more details and specific chains in the blog and live streams as we get closer to the update for 2.4. Like I said, it says for a uh, release in May. <sighs> I hope, I hope it really, really does, um, you know, uh, come like the first week or two of May. I really want to say that, honestly. That's the only thing I can think of. So I'm really hoping we can get that. So beyond that, we'll update 2.5 and we'll be coming back with specific specifics on timing later. We can share that. It will introduce a new playable hero for all platforms, Jane Foster. The mighty Thor. Our hero designs are driven first and foremost by their core comic book identities. As a fellow wielder of Mjolnir, her suit of abilities will have a lot in common with Odin's, uh, however, or the Odin's sons. I almost said Odin and just in general. <laughs> however, she will all also have elements that are distinctly Jane. More details on how Jane will come to life in our game in the coming future. We love a lot and just the whole thing. Obviously, what they could do is... We all know She-Hulk is coming more like kind of Echo-ish characters, but this was more of the Echo character, honestly. this can cover, I think everyone said, as far as we know right now from this, it's probably just going to be another hero event until She-Hulk comes out. But um, if anything, to be honest, they would probably do the same thing they did with Hawkeye and K-Bishop, where it's like, same type of things, you know, both archers, but they did have you very unique, uh, you know, different animations, uh, some of the same a little bit. But, um, you know, they, they play differently. I think they could do the same with Jane Foster a little bit. Obviously, different, different heroics. Maybe a little bit of different combat, honestly. I really want her to keep that like, keep the that spin attack move that Thor has. Honestly, really good move. So, I think they could keep that. But, um, this basically also proves that, um, guys, the roadmap isn't coming. There won't be any more roadmaps, to be honest. They're just going to be doing this probably from now on. Just telling us when there's content coming. Like, you know... See, our next update, blah, 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 then the next couple weeks, they talk about it, releases, maybe wait another week or two, maybe even months, does, and then just repeats that. I think the roadmap is kind of done, and they do seem more focused to kind of just be more on the MCU-ish things, because obviously, you know, the, the Thor Love and Thunder trailer released on Monday, so they obviously could, like, you know, benefit from that and stuff, but also, She-Hulk show coming, um, Miss Marvel show from the skin, then we can get, so obviously, I think they're focusing more with Marvel, or Marvel is more heavily going to this game to just kind of run everything in the background, so, we don't know, honestly, but, if, before we go, what do you guys think on Jane Foster coming to the game? I think she'll be a very fun character, another flyer, which will be nice, we need another flyer, but also, I'm bored, I need new characters, it had been since August last year for Xbox, a Stadia, PC, everyone. Because, you know, like I said, Sony likes to milk Spidey. Uh, so, that yeah. So, we've been waiting a long time for a new character. And this, at least, I'm, I'm just happy we get a new character, to be honest. But, obviously, we need new flyers. But, leave me in the comments down below what you guys think of Jane Foster and these new improvements coming to the game. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.